And I didn't tell them not to go nowhere that night. The guys are coming to tonight at the museum party. And maybe Kim liked him, Pac more than he liked Puff, but she couldn't have Pac. Although it's been over 25 years, the friends, fans, and family still want to know who did it. The fateful night Biggie was killed mm -hmm. at the height of his career. Yes. Do you ever feel responsible in any way, mm -hmm. in any way? I think I always feel some sort of responsibility because I'm, I'm in this thing with him. Among the deaths that have happened to rappers, two have always lived on in the hearts of everyone. These are the deaths of Tupac Shakur and Biggie. There have been many theories about what happened to them, with people trying to prove that it was planned, and if you look at the facts, it was in fact a premeditated murder. However, of all the theories, the one that has got everyone talking is that Diddy was behind all this. Yes, Sean Diddy Combs is said to be the man behind the murders of Tupac and Biggie. And well, people have been trying to prove this theory, coming up with all sorts of evidence, they have been trying to piece it together ever since it happened. And now, there might be evidence that might prove this. Biggie's mother seems to have something to prove that Diddy was the one who organized the murder of her son, as well as Tupac. But how true could this be? What evidence is this that she holds against Diddy? Without further ado, let's find out. Before the connection was made between Diddy and Biggie, Diddy was a person of interest in the murder of Tupac Shakur. However, as Valletta Wallace, Biggie's mother, was looking for answers to her son's death, she might have stumbled upon something that proves that Diddy was involved. But what is it she found? If you have followed Diddy's stories, you know he is all about money. There is nothing Diddy loves more than money. However, his greed might have just cost us and the entertainment industry great rappers like Biggie and Tupac. Regarding Tupac, there is already information linking Diddy to his death. There were reports that Diddy had put up a $1 million hit on both Tupac and Suge Knight. This was mainly because of the obvious rat beef between him and Biggie. To do this job, Diddy hired Crips member Dwayne Keith Davis, popularly known as Keith D, to carry out the hit. However, Tupac was taken out by Orlando Anderson, another member of the Crips, when it was initially supposed to be Keith D. Still, according to reports, plans changed at the last minute. This was after they pulled up on the wrong side of Tupac's car. Because of this, Keith D had to improvise and his nephew took the shot instead. And it was these shots that left Tupac dead and Shuge injured. But how is Diddy connected to all this? As much as Keith D was arrested for the murder, Diddy was never caught. You see, after the job, Eric Von Zipp was supposed to give the money to Keith D. However, he never delivered the money and he also died. And so, with his death, there was nothing linking Diddy to the murder of Tupac. Furthermore, the person who pulled the trigger that day, Baby Lane, was also dead. However, that doesn't mean that there is nothing linking Diddy to the death of Tupac. There are enough receipts to prove this and tie him to Biggie's death. There have been reports that Biggie's family members, including his mother, believe that Diddy was involved in the death of Biggie. Diddy started giving publishing rights back to his former artists recently. And on that list is Biggie, who signed a contract with Diddy's label, Bad Boy Entertainment, as soon as it was launched in 1993. A year after signing with the label, Biggie had already launched his debut album, Ready to Die. As soon as this album was released, Biggie's life was taken, leaving Diddy to cash in on Biggie's music. However, it took Diddy all those years before he gave back the publishing rights to Biggie's family. However, Diddy is not so good at apologizing, which is long overdue for Biggie's family. While on The Breakfast Club, he was asked about his move to return publishing rights to other artists, and he had a lot to say about this. And one thing that he said that was pretty interesting was his talk about change change the contract. You don't have to make changes in the world. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's just not the truth. Whatever your value of your publishing is, that's the value of your, you know, of your publishing. And, um... Many people have raised this question, has he really changed, given that he was behind Biggie's and Tupac's <laughs> To Diddy, this might be some sort of apology. However, this doesn't mean some of his former artists are happy. As they have revealed after receiving the rights, they claim they are worth nothing. And for some, like Aubrey O'Day, they have spoken up about these rights being returned to them and how much they have less value right now. We're all just willing to turn a blind eye. Diddy is just literally known as the guy that doesn't pay his artists. And the measly amount of change that MTV paid us, we don't even get to feel any benefit of that because they never brought the show back. This is not only the case for her, it is the same for every 
other artists who signed with Diddy's company, including Biggie. And as we all know, at this point, Diddy made more money from Biggie after his death than when he was alive. But even with this, the rights he gave back to the artists are worth nothing, including those given to Biggie's family. One of the people who is unhappy about this is Biggie's mom, Valletta Wallace. She has been asking Diddy to release the rights for years, but they were worth nothing when he did. This just proved to the family that Diddy only wanted to make money off Biggie's music, which was a hit after his death. Even with all this, Biggie received nearly nothing compared to what he would have earned if he worked for another label. This was revealed in Valletta Wallace's book, Biggie. Valletta Wallace remembers her son, Christopher Wallace, AKA Notorious Big. She expressed her skepticism about Diddy having her son's best interests at heart in the book. She stated that Christopher had been swayed by the illusion of friendship and mentorship from Puffy, who had enticed him with $25,000. She mentioned that for a 19-year-old Christopher, that was a substantial amount of money, the most he had ever seen at one time. She believed this sum made him mistakenly think Puffy would do anything for him, purchasing his blind love and loyalty. To date, Biggie's mother is still convinced that Diddy was somehow involved in her son's death. Furthermore, she is convinced that it has something to do with money. This theory has been confirmed by several people who have claimed that Diddy wanted Biggie out of the way. At the time, there were rumors of Biggie signing with another label and leaving Diddy's label. This was after Biggie realized that Diddy was just using him. One person who has confirmed this is an ex-bodyguard known as Uncle Ron. Uncle Ron claimed that Diddy once offered him money to take out Biggie. I was offered $30,000 to perform a hit on Biggie Smalls with a broken fibula bone who can barely walk. At this point, we cannot be sure whether Uncle Ron was telling the truth or was just saying that to get paid. However, we know he is not the only person who has come forward with these claims. Other people have confirmed that Diddy wanted Biggie out because he planned to leave the label. Gene Deal, one of Diddy's ex-bodyguards, also discussed it in an interview. He claimed that Biggie was planning on leaving Bad Boy Records for another label, where he had gotten a better deal. And according to Gene, this deal was worth more than $60 million. He said, but I'm about to get this money. So he showed me, I said, you about to get that money? He said, yeah, look at this. That's what I said. <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> I said, yo, Big. Gene really said a lot. And one of the things he also said was that Biggie's death was more of an inside job. However, Diddy taking advantage of Biggie was something everyone, including other artists like DMX, knew. Others, like Mace, even talked about Biggie's death and fired their shots at Diddy in songs such as Oracle 2. He said, representing every artist that was left behind from Craig Mack to G Depp, I still remember them kids trampled for every producer you ever stole their sample. With these lines, Mace was talking about the infamous 1991 City College incident where nine people were trampled at a celebrity basketball game, promoted by none other than Diddy himself. Mace even went on to talk about how Diddy used Biggie's death to market his label even more and how he never properly compensated Biggie's mother. However, that is not the only person who has talked about this. Even 50 Cent has said a lot about Diddy. And one thing that he has said repeatedly is that Diddy was involved in the deaths of Tupac and Biggie. And just like Mace, he has done it in his music. For example, in his song, Hip Hop, he says, who shot Biggie Smalls? If we don't get them, they gonna kill us all. Man, Puffy know who hit that man. He's scared them boys from the West Side gonna break him off. It is not a coincidence that all these people narrate the same story. Almost everyone discussing this story has claimed that Diddy wanted Biggie gone. And with the deal that Biggie was getting, it goes without saying that Diddy would lose a lot of money. All the money he was earning from Biggie, which was quite a lot, would go to a different label. And Diddy couldn't allow that. Nonetheless, he should have compensated Biggie's family better, not waiting until the rights were worth nothing before giving them back to them. Anyway, do you think that Diddy was involved in the death of Biggie? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing celebrity gossip and updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.